Hi, it's Amanda, the nail polish hound, and welcome to another nail polish video where I'm looking at my Bees Knees nail polish collection. Just a short one today, um, and a little bit of a D stash at the end. So first of all we have the polish that really started it off um, for Bees Knees or at least made them internationally well known and this one is House on Haunted Chill. And this one is described as a sheer purple base with an opalescent shifting shimmer and it does need building up in three coats. Then we've got House on Haunted Chill 2.0 and it is the same base I think, um, but this time it's got a load of flakies in it. Then we have got Mittengart Wirum, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, and it is a champagne super hollow polish in a linear holographic finish um, and the holographic in this one is absolutely stunning. I saw some beautiful swatch pictures of this one um, which made it look a little bit more pink than it pulls on my nails. On my nails it's sort of a greeny gold colour, unfortunately it doesn't really suit me. Then we have got The Magician which is a magnetic polish and it is purple with a, a mainly teal magnetic pull on it. Um, absolutely love this one, it was the first Bees Knees polish that I bought um, and I do use this one a lot um, so yeah no prizes for guessing this one I won't be leaving my collection. This one has been described as a deep black and blue base with green to purple shifting magnetic shimmer and a sprinkling of small violet flakes. But on me it does tend to look mostly purple but with that beautiful teal magnetic shift. And here you can see it used in one of my favourite manis this year um, as the base for the night sky um, to make it look like the Aurora Borealis. Talking of which this next polish is actually called Aurora Borealis and this was the second Bees Knees Lacquer polish that I picked up and this one is a deep blue base filled with teal flakies and teal to blue shifting magnetic shimmer. The magnetic shift on this one is also quite strong, it is a very very pretty polish. And on my nails this one does tend to pull more teal than anything else. Then we have two polishes that I purchased from their Deadpool collection. The first one here is called All the Dinosaurs Feared the T-Rex and it's a black jelly base with a red magnetic shimmer and flakes that flash purple, red and orange. It's a very pretty polish um, but I do have other red magnetic polishes of a similar colour that I do prefer so um, I'm going to be de-stashing this one. And lastly from that same Deadpool collection we have Luck Isn't a Superpower and this is a beautiful polish um, that pulls mainly green um, but has got little flashes of teal, pink and purple in it. It is another magnetic polish um, but the magnetic effect on this one is very subtle and I prefer to wear this one as a topper over the top of a pale grey polish. And in these swatch pictures you can see it over the top of Essie's Closing Night in one coat and without the magnet being applied. So that's my little bees knees lacquer collection. Um, the two House on a Haunted Chill polishes are very very similar um, so I decided to wear them both side by side to decide if I really needed them both. And I decided that I preferred House on a Haunted Chill 2.0 so I'm going to be de-stashing the original as well as the Mittengard Wirum polish that doesn't really suit me and also all the dinosaurs of fear the T-Rex as I said I do have other polishes that are similar that I prefer. So I'll be keeping all of the others in this little pared down Bees Knees Lacquer collection. Hope you've enjoyed this little video, um, if you have please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.